the abstract comes in when the see women control the mitochondria, men don't control it. Mm. And once the woman turn it on in the man, if he haven't done his self work, his you know studies, trying to enlighten his mind on the higher principles of life, and she turn it on, he gonna blow a fuse. Mm. He gonna blow a fuse, and he's not gonna be um, really functional. He's gonna be more rain man than anything else. Mm. Um, so the women don't turn it on. And the regular woman will deny the knowledge of how to do it. Some of them accidentally do it without knowing it. Hmm. And the guy don't be done to work becomes volatile. Right. And aggressive, combative to her. Hmm. Never knowing that they got nothing to do with her because he's not doing what he's supposed to do as a man developing into something bigger because once it's all the way turned on you're not the same no more right absolutely mm -hmm. the good thing about it though is <clears throat> when you love you love from a different place than you did before it was turned on a deeper place you know and so that's mm -hmm. that's the right there what they call love is a wine as Rumi say Mm. <laughs> yes. That's the very secret to life. Yeah. 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 So the different rituals they call earth rites, it's women's rituals, various coven rituals. Mm. And you incorporate certain tones and frequencies into the recovery of the ritual. In these tones and frequencies with the ritual on the ley lines and the water, especially mm. the water. The fresh water is the most important mm. because that is the sweet water of the earth, meaning that it's most densely fused with the mitochondrial element in the, um, the mirroring or the amplifying of the vibration that's done in the water. Mm. So this is what the studies in the water molecule, you get to see the varying changes in it. Get you mm -hmm. to understand how it works. And once you understand how it works, then you understand that a drop of water dropped in the Niagara can communicate with a drop of water in Tasmania mm -hmm. instantly. As soon as it hit the big body of water, they've already communicated and exchanged the information by the time the ripples dissipate. Absolutely. And that's another quantum theory talking about not only the memory of water, but that it can imprint other elements of it and over massive distances, even when they're not touching. Um, there, there's rituals that you can do with water to oh. dimensional shift just slightly enough to get around an obstacle in life, like the water, uh, the two cups of water. It's, um, ritual hmm. let's say that you are living in poverty but you don't want to be poor hmm. it's just as simple as pouring the like you take a piece of paper put it on each one of them say poor cup and one of them say rich cup you huh. put the water from the poor cup into the rich cup now there's nobody left at the poor house hmm. but then you drink the rich cup So you just shifted your reality by shifting those glasses. Just that simple mm -hmm. is how easy it is to do it. The water holds memory. It only takes like thirty, like three seconds to like charge it if you know what the intent is. Mm. That's absolutely. I, I bless all of my water and have studied the water principles very, very heavily because I know that the key to activating the planet is the water because of the way it transmutes information so quickly. <coughs> yeah. But you do it the fresh water first, mm. and you move from inland to the major bodies of salt water. You mm. know, by, you know, you don't have to be totally submerged, just your ankles is deep enough. Mm. But some people want to go deep, knee deep, waist deep, it's up to the person doing the, you know, 
the ceremonies is going into the water to determine how deep they want to go in there. Hmm. And then you have to break up the age groups um, according to the younger women, like 17 and under. Hmm. And then you have like 18 to like 40. And then you have what you call the elders. Hmm. And they have the different parts that they do. Yeah, the mother, the maiden, and the crone. Yeah, yeah. that's exactly what it is. Yeah. The three phase mother, yeah. Hmm. And normally the the everybody's in you know what the nuns are all supposed to have on white and the woman that's supposed to be on the seat that the Pope is on is supposed to be the only one to wear black. Hmm. But because they have the the patriarch on the matriarchal seat, everything is backwards in the nunnery. Oh. You see. So when you look at the Black Madonna imagery, you always notice that she's wearing white. Mm. Well, that's because she's the Black Madonna is the only one supposed to actually wear black. And they, they, she's wearing white to signify that she's been concealed. She's hidden. Huh. They the identifier. Her identifier is they already know that the real Pope is supposed to wear a black robe. And that the Catholic Church actually goes before Constantine's Nicene Council, mm -hmm. all the way into what they turned into Islam in the Middle East at Mecca, where the Yoni is that they call the Black Stone. Mm -hmm. it's, even, it's even shaped like a Yoni. Mm -hmm. But that's really where the navel of the earth is, which was the third seat chakra right. of the earth. The yoni of the earth is in South Africa. Mm -hmm. And as long as the uh, water is mistreated, then you always have problems on earth. Mm -hmm. You know, and it's rituals of cleansing that we always did to help it, to help earth heal. Mm -hmm. You know, and um, the different parts of the planet have different functions. They have different functions. You know, and so we have different physiological makeups to facilitate the function of the area. This was a conscious effort for us to look different. Mm. America is the place where we supposed to all go to look different, come and get together and get it on. We supposed to come over here, fuck like monkeys, and make new people. <laughs> it's it's inevitable. It'll happen eventually. Why do they call it the Great Melting Pot, and who named it that? Oh, I don't know. Who gave? Where did that one uh, drop of blood doctrine come from, and who thought it up? Mm -hmm. Benjamin Franklin? No. <laughs> where did the uh, the Great Migration into the United States and the philosophy was? You finish your poor, your downtrodden, and your broken, right? Remember? Yeah. Why the fuck you want the worst of the worst? Hmm. Send them, send them on over here. Well, are you talking about the Masonics and the Illuminatis? No matter who behind it, if you mm. use the logic, is the same. Whoever's behind it, the logic would have to be the same. Mm. Because the pattern is still consistent. So that means the logic hasn't changed. The pattern is consistent. Mm. See, so now that's pattern recognition that they overlook. It fit. All right? So now... <clears throat> Go back to the 13 colonies. Who were they and where did they come from? Spanish uh, started it and then the English, all of Europe and Africa. No, 13 colonies. Africa had nothing to do with the 13 colonies for a while. Well, they brought, they brought over the first six slaves in what year? Oh, I can't recall. Uh, 14, he's talking about in 1497. <laughs> but look, this is what it all boils down to. Think about this. How it's, it's 13 central banks in the country, the number 13th being in D.C. Mm -hmm. D.C. is not really part of America. Mm -hmm. It's an enclave. It's a foreign enclave. It's a city-state. Mm -hmm. So that means that there's 12 central banks. How many colonies were there? 
13. Right. But the Virginia colony is the one that was claimed as part for D.C. was the headquarters. Hmm. Right. So they isolate that, which leaves you 12 colonies. So it's still the same okay. thing. How many sons of Jacob is it? Oh, I don't know. Twelve tribes of Israel, right? That's right. So okay. you're talking about like the Council of Light? Well, look, Jacob makes 13. Mm -hmm. It's always concealed in plain sight. What is 13? That's the dead center of the zodiac seat. Mm -hmm. They call that the queen seat. <clears throat> That's the queen mother. Mm -hmm. If you go to the spoof movie where um, the dude, I forget his name, he was over in England. It's a spoof movie, and he kept talking about the order was from the Queen Mother. Oh. Anyway, it's telling you. So that was the number 13, the reason, and it, it's so funny how much the West has really demonized that number. You know, Friday the 13th, 13 levels is bad in hotels. They've skipped that 13. <laughs> Is that a way of hiding and even farther minimizing that, that queen? Hiding in plain sight. You, you don't hide it down the street and under the rock. You hide it in plain sight. You put that shit on the table. Mm. You find They can't find everything that's hidden, but they can't find nothing in plain sight. Uh, that's actually Walter. brilliant. It's like evil genius level brilliant. It really is. So the, the 13 is villainized as the bad luck number. Mm -hmm. But it's the 13th seat of the zodiac. It's the center seat of the zodiac. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> that means that the character of the person that masters all 12 signs of the zodiac in itself gets the controlling position at seat number 13. Mm -hmm. That's the high priest, what they call the Melchizedek seat. So I, I want to. First of all, continue this conversation because um, every every statement is sending like this flash of energy up my spine with just different ideas. Um, so I absolutely want to continue the conversation. Can you teach some of these water ceremonies? Is that something that you can teach? No, the way that it go is is priestesses that I can teach the priestess to teach the women, right? Because the women have to control it. Mm. I I went and got all of the secrets back. I could show them where it's at, tell them how to use it. But the women have to teach it to the women. Mm. It's just something that's in the energy from the basic conversation, the tone of the voice, mm. you know, the carrying of the words in the energy for the maximum effect. You just cut through the bullshit. Mm. You know, so pretty soon here, um, a lot of things are going to be changing pretty fast. You see the government shut down. Like, yeah. go through the history books. When the last time you ever heard somebody put an out of business sign on Earth, the entire planet at one time? Yes. The energy, something, whatever's coming, it's going to be massive. Absolutely. It's unprecedented. Yeah. But you already know what it is. You just don't remember right now. Because mm. you know everything already. Mm. But you've been taught to tune it out. You see. So That's you can it. talk to the water, you can talk to the earth and they answer you. <clears throat> talk to the trees, they answer you. But are you perceptive enough and are you self aware enough to recognize when it's talking to you? And that's where the problem comes in. Mm. From nature. Right. But there's already people that's that's doing the training in various places. Like I always just have to show y'all what well, these people is doing this training. Mm. They're correct. Like some of them was charging money, they shouldn't have been doing that. You can accept donations, but you don't charge. Mm. Right? You can um sell goods and services, but you don't charge people to help them learn how to get their life back on track. Right. You a priest. Right. <clears throat> and some people don't know they priests. Like Anthony Robbins don't think he's a priest. Mm -hmm. He's a fucking priest. When you listen to what he's telling you, when he's talking about awakening the giant within, 
Mm. He's rocking the hidden powers of the subconscious mind. Yeah. He's a fucking shaman. <laughs> He's just a good talking shaman that makes it real, you know, enthusiastic to want to get into this mystic shit. Uh, simple to understand, easy steps. Yeah. Yeah. The same with uh, uh, push your own buttons. Uh, what's his name? Uh, Oh, I don't recall. He got a book called uh, Push Your Own Buttons. Mm -hmm. uh, he had a ball, ball at the top. He died a couple of years ago. Oh, years Wayne ago. Dyer. Wayne Dyer. That's yes. Right. Yes. Yeah. He's a fucking mystic. That's oh, not yeah. no fucking psychology he talking. Yeah. You know, you can't find that in psychology books. And then he's going into the, you know, metadata, the mind and all that mm -hmm. shit. You don't talk about that in psychology. Right. Psychology tells you how to be a good, obedient slave. <laughs> yes. When you feel like the slavery is getting too overwhelmed for you, you come lay on this couch and masturbate. You, you mentally and spiritually masturbate right here. Mm -hmm. and you go back out there and you fight the good fight again, buddy. Yeah. Oh, fuck that fight. <laughs> I gotta know who the fuck I'm fighting first. I just can't be fighting in the blind. Mm -hmm. Fuck your fight. I mean, like, I ain't, I'm here to help. I'm not here to hold nothing back. So people need to know what's going on, need to understand, you know, they need a more concrete foundation to look at of what's taking place in the world around them, you know. Absolutely. There's no, no base, no, no spatial recognition no synchronization with the environment around they don't really understand you don't you never heard in the history of the world that they shut the whole world down at once mm -hmm. wake the fuck up when they shut they turned the earth off <laughs> if that ain't a wake-up call for your ass oh my god it but is so surreal it is so surreal yeah and, and they've been telling you it's gonna happen I'm telling your ancestors it's gonna happen and when this particular one come beating on his chest, mm -hmm. <laughs> he gonna tell y'all, I'm just gonna turn this shit off so you get right. Mm -hmm. So you'll see that in the aftermath, a lot of celebrities will be rounded up and CEOs of major corporations, mm -hmm. various things of this nature that was participating in child sex rings and sex trafficking of women and children. Um, teenage boys and things of that nature. Some of them um, are falsely accused in order to see the ones that was actually doing the dirt. Because you couldn't see who was doing the dirt unless you had a somebody that was righteous, falsely accused of the same thing. Then you have a mirror to look at. Right. I didn't even think about what this would do to the crime rings and to the human trafficking and the drug trafficking if people aren't allowed outside. That's, that's profound. But think about this. Like Disney World is shut down now, right? Yeah. What y'all don't know is that there's a whole other city underneath Disney World that's private. <laughs> that was used for illicit out sex parties and adrenochrome ritual ceremonies, etc. Mm -hmm. And it was uh, the same with uh, Disneyland in Florida, Universal Studios. This is where you hear uh, what's the little. Oh, you, you got muted again. Mm -mm. Nothing yet. Nope. No. Oh, I got you. I got you. Okay. What was his name? The the uh, <clears throat> the little kid that was molested in Hollywood. He's a grown man now. Oh, Macaulay Culkin. No, not him. He's not the one that's talking. He was on Ellen a couple of weeks ago, talking about the. Uh, he was going to be naming names and telling them who was it, who was involved in it. Anyway, um, mm -hmm. all these types of 
people are going to come out. Like Michael Jackson sacrificed his self and his reputation to bring attention to mm. the children that was being abused in Hollywood. All of those kids was asking Mike to help, help, help. Mm. He didn't know what to do. Well, if you go back about 93, 92, it was the MTV Music Awards. At the end of it, he did what they call a T-pose. The bunch of kids ran out to Mike. And it wasn't six months later they was accusing him of mm. the first case. But I had told people when it happened and they thought I was crazy. Mm. I said, they're going to start saying Mike doing something to kids. How did I know this? Mm. Consciously, I didn't. Subconsciously, I knew something, but I didn't know what I knew. When he beat that last case, I said, Mike got less than five years to live. Three mm. years later, he was gone. You see? You can see the patterns. The patterns. Mm. Once you start seeing it, it becomes predictable. Mm. But his was a self-sacrifice for the children, for the benefit of the children. You okay. see? <clears throat> And so he needed blanket in Paris in order to have heirs to his to his wealth. Mm. You see. And so Paris is the heir because she's the girl. Oh. But the confusion comes in with blanket, does they call it, and the B is an upside down back of small P uh P. Mm. The small B is an upside down backwards P. So it confuses the um, one we call the devil because it's dyslexic. You it can't tell the difference between a B, a D, a P. You can't tell the difference. Hmm. So it don't know where to look when we flip it oh. in different ways. The devil can't tell which one is the air. Oh. <clears throat> and that's why you see the gangbangers, they throw the signs up like this, hmm. like this. All the mudras, I mean, we're telling each other what's going on. It's a war dance. Huh. We war dancing. There's some tribal shit going on. <laughs> the Native American, indigenous African shit. Hmm. It's the motherfucking Choctaw talking to the Zulu. Across the land without nobody knowing. We put the motherfucking beat on the drum. Mm. You see? The Irish. Irish, where did the word come from? Orisha. Who the fuck is the Orisha? The African priests. Mm. <laughs> you know? Scott, Scotland, Scotta, who the fuck is she? The Egyptian priestess. She's from Africa. Huh. That's your bloodline. Um, let you know, make those women feel powerful enough again to just balance this shit out so that the kids go outside without having to have an adult with them every every second and every step. You know, right. where we take a village to raise a child again. Mm. You know, just because you see a child doing something wrong, don't mean you have to turn out ahead because it's not yours. Right. You know, and just because you see somebody doing something wrong to a child, don't mean you got to turn that to head because it's not your child. We got to look at the children as the future. Mm. So we got two options: we can either build on the future or tear it down. In the way that it's being done now, with the abuse of the children and the abuse of the women, we tearing the future down. Mm. There's nothing to look forward to under those conditions. Right. You know, so if if my children is going to have a promise of a life without being in perpetual servitude for their entire life. Mm. Working their fingers to the bone and can't retire to the day they, a couple of days before they die, you know, then that's not, that's not living. Yeah. You know, so we, is, it's up to us now, you know, we in truth, the light workers, it's up to us. I mean, many people don't believe there's a reality to this realm of spirit and its effect upon the physical world. 
but the light workers now by having the women learn these earth rites to remind them of where to look there's older women there's women in um the voodoo culture in the wiccan culture that's been putting back pieces back together of what was lost in that area mm. <clears throat> and because they put so many pieces back together they know what to do when they have the door open for them to perform without the threat of being burnt at the stake mm. lynched raped and violated in order to keep her from using her power mm. you know so that's where we at with it now is just to inform all of the legwork behind the scenes is in play you know um this is the a ongoing effort between all of the families of the earth families mm. we call them families of the earth family because we are from earth we know all of the families of the earth but we different families we different tribes all of these political systems is designed to keep us separated and subjugated. Mm. So we go back to our earth system where we use a whole different setup of the matriarchy. 